I've been in the New Westminster Public Library for eight years, going on nine in October. But because of renovations, um, we're not going to be here anymore for probably a year. And I would like to thank everybody that's been so kind to look for places for us to, to have our group. And amazing amounts of people from Burnaby and different other areas of, and Surrey and Vancouver want us to go there. But if we can, I'd like to probably stay in New Westminster because it's easier for me to get around and it's hard to build up a new group of people as well. So, yes? I wonder if you could contact Dave Seabead at Douglas College. Okay, good idea. He yeah. might, he yeah. might let you give us a Aboriginal Yeah, we were there one time. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Maybe I'll get the name after. Throw my name at him. I'll throw your name at him. I'll tell him Rhonda Stead. And so, um, also the other poetry groups have been so kind to say, oh, well, don't just go away, you know, we'll try to find a place for you. So I think it says a lot for the poetic community that they're willing to go to some effort to support us. And I'd like to thank all the people over the years that have come and the wonderful audiences that we've had. So we're very proud to um, be part of this community and be part of the 10,000 World Poetry Canada International Worldwide Community. And um, we'll see how we go. I, I'm going to try to get my book finished. Um, Vera Manuel, whose picture is there, is like a soul sister to me. And after she passed on, she kept coming to me in the dreams and saying, get your dream book done, you know, like, and also Gabriel Bardeman, when I was getting my master's degree in, psych, in clinical psychology, he, he spent a lot of time as a lay professor teaching me the old ways, and he's come to me in my dreams too. So. He's, they're both somewhat aggravated, so I thought I would take this time to get the book done. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of running around promoting everybody else, I'm going to try to get the book done. <laughs> so I would like to open with uh, my poem, a dream poem. There's 47 dream poems. And a lot of you know that I wake up at 2 in the morning and I write the poems down in the dark. And then I um, sometimes don't look at them for a couple of days. But the dream poems come from someplace else, and I don't feel it would be um, respecting to edit and shape them. A little bit will do, but not very much. So this is dream poem 17, I Love the World. I love the world, world I adore you with every part of my being my cells, molecules, and even the atoms that fill up my empty spaces, join together to love you. I love the soaring mountains, wearing their white capes of snow, the dry painted deserts, the streaming jungles teeming with life, the lush valleys, majestic lakes, the boundless ocean, with its changes and moods, its calm and storms, the beauty of humankind perched on this blue world, the smell of a new baby, the chuckle of an elder, the energy and spirit of youth. My love goes out to join you on humming thought waves, vibrating with emotion. I delight in your exquisite being, geometrical shapes and your diversity, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, world beings that feed us and heal us. My love for you dances with the clouds. It becomes part of the velvet night, falls in the raindrops caressing you. I send my love to your secret hidden spots, the noisy cities of humankind the vast silences of land broken by the call of an eagle. May my caring help you heal your broken places, your wounded spots, bathed in darkness, disharmony, and pollution. May all of humanity join with me in loving this beautiful world. Thank you.